Wisconsin will not be expanding its Medicaid programs. Governor Walker announcing today he will not accept billions of dollars in federal money. The decision not sitting well with state Democrats. Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz on the story joins us now. And Ben, what does the governor want? Well, Tom, Governor Scott Walker says he wants more people to be insured and fewer people to rely on the government. He says the solution to those goals wouldn't come from federal money for a Medicaid expansion. Now is it better for me as a, and you as a taxpayer because there's less of a, a fa federal and state match that we have to plug into Medicaid? It empowers people to have greater control over their lives. Governor Walker says that empowerment will come from fewer people depending on Medicaid. Instead, he wants more to qualify for a new government-run marketplace to buy insurance that debuts next year. It will cost the state $66 million and has people rely on the health care exchanges set up under Obamacare that Walker has done everything in his power to make sure it doesn't work properly for Wisconsin. Under the governor's plan, about 224,000 more people will be insured. However, if he had accepted the federal money, the governor admits an additional 28,000 people would have been insured. And he also concedes about 96,000 more people would have qualified for Medicaid under the federal plan. I don't see how anybody comes out ahead here except for the Tea Party. The nonpartisan Legislative Fiscal Bureau estimates the state could have received about $4.4 billion through 2020. Walker says it would have been a risky move. But it's also important in doing it in a way that makes good long-term financial sense and in a way in which we control our destiny here in Wisconsin, we don't leave it up to the federal government. The head of Prevea Health agrees with the governor's decision. By moving them to the exchange, moving them to private insurance, not only are we giving them coverage, but opportunity to get into programs that private insurance companies offer and health care providers offer to make our population healthier. Governor Walker's decision makes him the 14th Republican to turn down the expansion. Six have agreed to it.